It's homecoming for Iowa. Kirk Ferentz and the boys welcome Northwestern to Kinnick. The Hawks have won the last three meetings against the Wildcats. It's a perfect day to swarm and play a little football up in Iowa City. Opening quarter of this game, Iowa would get on the scoreboard first as Drew Stevens kicks a 24-yard field goal, and it's 3-0 Hawks. Second quarter, Iowa down 7-3. Wildcats back up to their end zone. Max Llewellyn with the sack and safety, and it's 7-5. Before the half, Iowa would find the end zone as Caleb Johnson takes a handoff, breaks free. He'll give Iowa a 12-7 lead going into the break. Third quarter, Brendan Sullivan is in replacing Cade McNamara, and he will fake the handoff, keeping it, and he'll race to the pylon for the score, 19-7 Hawkeyes. Then the Hawks will get a big play on special teams as Caden Weijen. Fields the punt at his own 15, pick up a few blocks, gets down the sidelines, 85 yards to the house, Iowa rolling up 40 to 14. Iowa goes on to win. Jenna Miner has more with the Hawkeyes. The Hawkeyes are back on the right track after the win against Northwestern. Iowa putting up 40 points after a rough start from Cade McNamara. He was pulled in the second quarter for Brendan Sullivan, and Sullivan provided a big spark for the Iowa offense, beating his former team. After the game, Kirk Ferentz said they weren't benching Cade, just giving Brendan a chance. Ferentz also said the coaching staff planned on rotating Sullivan in more, and he commanded the game against Northwestern. Yeah, I think we got into a little flow in the second half, and that was certainly encouraging. And um, you know, there's, there's give and take with everything you do, but uh, really, really happy for the way he stepped in. Thought he played with great poise. I uh, didn't think too much about it, but, um, you know, playing his former team, you always worry about emotions a little bit, didn't worry too much about it, but it didn't seem to be a factor either. A little bit of a spark, I think. I, I'm really happy that he was ready to play. Um, you know, in that moment, he just stepped up and, you know, delivered for us. So, you know, credit to him and his preparation. He's, you know, was able to, you know, I'm sure going against this team, he probably had a little more uh, advantage than, you know, maybe going against a different team. But um, really happy for him. He did a great job out there. I think, I'd, like everybody else, there's a lot to improve on. Um, whether that's passing, whether that's running, I think decision making as well. Um, I think it just adds another element to, to be able to run the ball. But, uh, but definitely a lot of film to go back and look at and, and learn from. With the homecoming win, Iowa is now five and three, and next week they'll be right here at Kinnick Stadium, welcoming in Wisconsin. And Iowa City, Jenna Miner, WQAD News 8 Sports.